During the whole day, the hearing that involves Cosmos as well as the South African Football Association, it is still currently underway at Safa House. Let's take a quick listen in this sent by our reporters down at Safa House about the latest from right there. Okay, can we have a statement on the judgment inside? Yes, what's happened is the arbitration is now complete, but the arbitrator has reserved judgment, so we will only be able to communicate the outcome, obviously, once we receive it from the arbitrator. So we'll do that as soon as we know. Thank you. Okay. Well, Mr. Blakestein there from the Premier Soccer League, in fact, wasn't from Safa, from the Premier Soccer League, saying that, well, things seem to be complete for now. They're going to reserve judgment. Uh, let me walk across the wall where we are joined by SABC News Senior Sports Reporter Velen Mbouli, as well as Tando Mkoli, our two journals out on location right there. Tando, welcome once again to Sports and Prime. Let me catch you right there. We just heard that up sound from the officials regarding what has been happening, the, 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 the hearing, basically. Give us the latest. I mean... What does this mean, basically, for the man who's saying, "Ah, oh, we expected a result? Um, good evening, Toby. So, um, as you've just heard from the PSL uh, representative, there has been a, 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 a little brief statement on how proceedings have gone today. But I've got with me Veli Lamboul, who's been camping here um, the whole day, waiting for these proceedings to unfold. Um, Veli, good evening and welcome to Sports Live. Good evening, Tando. Um, to tell us, um, we've just heard now um, from the guys coming out of the arbitration, what has happened? Can you just give us a development and a breakdown of events during the day today? Well, as you know, that um, there's been uh, this arbitration case uh, that has been brought by the PSL against um, Joma Cosmos. This thing stems from the allegedly um, improper registration um, of uh, the Jomo Cosmos goalkeeper, uh, Tabo Modiba. Um, we've been talking about um, how the club from Namibia, Venduk Orlando Parades, uh, brought this case um, against Cosmos because uh, they alleged that um, they had uh, registered um, Tabo Modiba without getting the ITC from the Namibian Football Association, an ITC which is um, a passport um, between two different countries of players who are transferred um, as per the re FIFA regulations. Um, so. Today we also had Mar Marispec United, uh, who had written to the SC um, advocate uh, uh, Hilton uh, Epstein uh, to, to 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 be part of these proceedings, as they say they are an interested a party uh, to this. As you know, that the two teams are both involved in a relegation battle. So today uh, we understand that um, the arbitration is finished, and now it is up to wait uh, for. Mr. Epstein um, to finalize uh, this matter and it's expected that the final verdict will come out tomorrow. Um, the latest um, could be on Friday morning. Um, Vanilla, we're talking about this arbitration. There are a number of things that the arbitrator needs to consider. Um, one of them being um, who was at fault, um, another being um, what to do with the people who are found guilty in, the, in, in this process. Um, just to break it down, for, for starting at who was at fault here, um, wh who do you think would be at fault in a situation like this? Because, look, at the moment we don't have all the information, but we're speculating on how proceedings have um, unfolded in front of us. The cases against Jomo Cosmos on the allegation of having improperly registered uh, the player and the PSL, um, there had been talk uh, coming to today that um, one of their submissions was uh, possibly on the docking of three points and um, also the case against Cosmos. Um, but I understand that um, the mandatory um, fine, according to this, would be around 300,000 rands and even maybe some and another sentence against the player as well. Um, but will be, it will be interesting how uh, Advocate uh, Epstein um, reaches his conclusion uh, when it comes out tomorrow um, or on Friday. As you know, that there are important fixtures this coming weekend, including a fixture between two teams that were here today, Jomo Cosmos and uh, Marispec United. As you know, that uh, currently Cosmos is one point ahead um, of Marispec United. If if it possibly happens that um, Marispe, in fact, Jomo Cosmos adopted these three points, it would mean that um, they go to, to the bottom of the law um, if, if it happens. But we don't know um, as, as, as things stand um, because the two teams are also playing against each other and also the outcome is still, is still to, to come. But I think it should also be noted that the NSL rules stipulate, especially um, Article 50.1, um, on how the points could be taken or 
how um, the parties which are querying the registration of another team, um, the period that should be done, which is 40 days after the registration window had closed and also five days after the match had taken place. But um, that should be some of the things that um, the um, different parties, especially their legal teams, should have continued to insight. I'm talking about those kind of um, uh, um, repercussions for whoever's at fault. Um, another thing that we also need to consider, for example, if hypothetically speaking, um, Jomo Cosmos had pleaded guilty inside there and um, the, the verdict was that you'd be docked points, so the, would there be room to appeal this decision? From what I understand um, is that um, the docking of points will be the worst case um, a scenario even though there were submissions um, possibly from the PSL and also from what is United which was allowed uh, to be part of the proceedings uh, uh, today. Um, but my understanding of football is that um, this uh, case has jumped two steps already. The DC and the, the appeals which happens here at SAFA, the disease, the PSL, but it was agreed that it should come here um, due to the importance uh, of this case and also being close to the time as well when the playoffs are starting next, next week um, on Wednesday. Um, so sporting terms, this is the way it should finish. If they want to challenge it outside here, it should be the court of arbitration of sport, um, as you know, football and uh, your, your normal courts, that's something different altogether. All right. Thank you very much, William Bullet. That was an update of um, proceedings down here at Safa House. Um, as you heard, um, a verdict is um, expected in the next day or two um, on what will happen in the, in the uh, case um, involving John Cosmos. Um, back to you, Tabiso, in the studio. Yeah. Tando, just before I let you go, maybe we can uh, touch on something else that I picked up a short while ago. Uh, Velila said is that this could have gone as far as FIFA's involvement. The case could have been reported to FIFA. Maybe Velila can touch on that. Um, Veli Latavis is asking about um, this case maybe could have been brought in front of FIFA. Has that happened? Uh, FIFA. Yeah, has, has um, this, uh, this um, individual case been put to the attention of FIFA? For example, if um, a, a club is aggrieved here, um, can it be taken forward and uh, whether it's to CAS or, or to FIFA? Are they aware of such a case happening? My understanding is that these are FIFA processes um, because SAFA is a member association of FIFA and um, that's why um, the processes that are being followed here are on the FIFA statutes and that's why even if uh, when SAFA caught this matter um, from the Namibian FA and uh, the first uh, body they wrote to was FIFA to make them aware of what is happening and when things happen like this, um, even uh, Advocate Epstein, one of the things he's going to consider are also the FIFA regulations um, around this matter, um, which could possibly even lead to a banning uh, of this player from, uh, from playing football. It has happened before. There you go, Tabiso. Happy? Yeah. Yeah, well, Tando, thank you very much. It seems that right. it's bigger than we thought. If FIFA's involved, well, it's not child's play indeed. Tando Mkoli, as well as Velen Bouli, speaking to us from Safa House, the matter concerning the South African Football Association and, of course, Jomo Cosmos.